Good morning, YouTube. Oh, it's exactly what it is. When it rains, it pours. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we are out at the perfect permission today. I'm out here in the big field where uh, Steve found a copper and I found quite a few. Out here with the dais and the 11-inch coil, got a really nice signal. Oh, dig me, dig me. Well, it's been a long time. I've just been going back and forth up and down this uh, field here. Just got an 86 and this hole flipped it out. I see a little bit of roundness, so let's go check it out together. Right down here. I think it's gonna be a button. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it's gonna be a button. It's a tomback. Wow, that was a really loud tomback. When it rains, it pours. Oh, what a true saying. So yesterday, I went out with Brandon. This should be last week's episode. I uh, found my first ever thimble. Just got a 63-64 in this hole. Got down three inches. I think I just got another complete thimble. This is nuts. Right here. Oh, it's exactly what it is. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is totally ridiculous. <laughs> wow. It's complete, just squished. Oh my god, that is so cool. I love these relics. They're so awesome. That's a personal item. I love them. Oh, it's so cool. It's gonna look great in the display case. For the farm. And the dais found it. Never found a thimble. This whole time I've been detecting. All these years I've been detecting, never found one. I get the dais and two days in a row I find a thimble. How awesome is that? Well, I guess we'll keep going. Uh, we're gonna be out here too long. Ugh. With the the ground, it's like trying to dig through a granite quarry with a shovel. Like it's just ridiculous. But uh, it's cold out here. It's 13 degrees, but we're finding stuff, so that makes up for it. There's still stuff out here. Well, I found the, that uh, the um, thimble in this row over here. Coming back, going this way. Got an 87, 88. Ooh, look at this button. It's got some silver wash on it. Damn. We pulled so many buttons out of this field. That's a nice little one. Look how off center that shank is. Awesome. Well, it's late afternoon now. I'm uh, still out here with the dais. Came to the front yard. The field is just so hard to dig in. Right here, got a 95 at like a foot deep. A little tiny squeaker. Got a little button here. It's uh, gold gilted on the back. It's smooth on the front. Three buttons for the day, and I'm still going. Dais is treating me well. On deep targets, so uh, we'll definitely keep on going. This is fun. I like finding them old relics. Well, it's the next hole after that um, button. Just walking through this area, got a very, very faint squeaker. Oh, this machine goes so deep, it's incredible. Got a very faint squeaker, uh, probably about another foot down. Got it out of the hole, treating 79.80, and I think I, we got our first coin of the day. I think it's an Indian. I hope so. Let's look at it. That's it. I flipped it out right over here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an Indian. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, it's my first Indian with the dais. And my first one of the year. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll clean it up and get a date for you. Oh, go dais. Oh, look how deep that hole is. Oh, it's so amazing. Faint little squeaker. You gotta dig them little squeakers. Oh, that's awesome. I've been digging them all, those little squeakers all day, and they all have been nails except for the past two holes. One was an old button, and now it's a little Indian. All right, well, she's a toasty one, unfortunately. The date was, like, eaten off. But, uh, she's an Indian. It's all that counts. Well, I'm not positive, but I just got an 84, 85, and I think those are wheat penny numbers. And I, uh, just flipped and I saw the, um, imprint of a coin. And there's a coin. Well, it's a toasty one. Another toasty coin out of here, but it is a weedy. This is exactly why you always go back over your spots. This is crazy. I've been walking this whole area. I found that button right over right next to those bushes. Found the Indian right there. I have a hole right here because I did lines all through here. Somehow I missed the signal. Don't know how. I thought it was going to be trash. I open up the hole and look at that. Merc, I think, at 45 degrees. Oh no, it's a Rosie. Rosie at 45 degrees. Rub that rosy, buddy. I'm gonna rub it up. 57. <laughs> Five silvers for the year. Oh, man, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. I don't know how I missed that. Well, five silvers for the year for the dais, and, uh, wow, that's amazing. Let's keep going. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm excited now. And that wraps up this week's episode of New England Dirt Diggers. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun filming it. It was a frigid day. I was, I had six layers on. Uh, it was 13 degrees. It was windy. It was a frozen field with a dull shovel, but of course it's always fun to be able to get out and swing and find old history. Many more episodes are coming out. Be sure to go check them out every Friday at 12 p.m. on New England Dirt Diggers. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time hunting out with your friends, and if you aren't, I hope you guys can get out as soon as possible. As always, happy hunting, and we'll see you in the dirt. Later, everybody.